know what this is, but it's kind of hot. So over the week, Rare officially announced the new Ashen Winds content update coming to the game in July of 2020. Now, this was also brought on with a lot of other decisions that were being made, but all we're going to talk about in this video is specifically the flamethrower itself, which is, I guess, what we're going to call it. So to come along with the release trailer that they showed us on many different platforms, we also got our first insight to something that was teased to us earlier in the week, which is also what I put at the start of this video, and we finally got some closed answers to that. Essentially, with this new update, they're going to be releasing a new form of combat for PvE and PvP-based elements. And this comes in the form of a creepy skull that has also doubled as a flamethrower. I guess they got some tips from Elon Musk. But also, this isn't just a flamethrower. It turns out you have the ability to sell this skull to the Order of Souls for a certain value, which we haven't exactly found out at the time of recording this video, but I'm sure we'll know soon enough. And the interesting thing about this is, the more you use it, the less it's going to be able to be sold for over to the Order of Souls. They didn't mention anything about not being able to sell the skull altogether, so I don't believe there will be any sort of ammo cap, but I could be wrong. So this means if you do find yourself wasting some of the flames, you will end up having it not sell for as much and being less valuable, which itself is a really good idea in my opinion. But this does have its downfalls. I mean, there's a few things you can sort of look against this and assume it's going to hurt PvP and PvE in a specific way. Again, I'm not getting into that in this video. I don't really think that's worth covering because it all is opinion-based. But there's definitely going to be some opposing this decision to release it into the game. Now, I do believe this is a really cool, innovative step forward for the future. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see more things like this coming out not too far away. But for now, let's keep it strictly to this thing here. So what is this flamethrower, you may be wondering, which is probably why you clicked on the video as well. So we know it's called the Ashen Wind Skull, which allows me to believe it's got something to do with moving on of the original Flame Art storyline that we've been progressing for the last few months. I'd also put more evidence towards this, considering it does look very similar to the skull that we've seen while doing one of this tool tales. I'm not going to spoil that if you haven't done them, but I do suggest you check out the Seabound Soul and Heart of Fire to get up to date. So it's safe to assume this has something to do with the progression of us taking on Flameheart. As we know, last month we had the introduction of the new fleets brought into the world, and this month we have the Skull. Maybe that could mean in the future we may see another tool tale finishing up the Flameheart storyline, or some huge epic battle to do with Flameheart coming in the near future. At the moment, it's still too early to really tell. But essentially, what we know so far is coming into this update, we're going to have a new type of element that we can use to our advantage or sell that can be obtained in some way, shape, or form. Andrew Preston did mention that this is something you have to do to obtain, so I don't think it's going to be available to everyone upon release. Instead, maybe except you need to take down some fleets, or a boss battle, or maybe even some sort of addition to the forts to get hold of this skull. Nevertheless, though, it means there's going to be a lot of change coming in the near future, and I'm very excited to see it. But, though, what do you guys think of this new skull being released into the Sea of Thieves world? Are you for or against this new type of PvP and PvE we're going to see in the near future? Or will you not even bother to use it as a weapon and just instead sell it for the reputation you get from the Order? Of souls. No matter what though, do expect me to have a video covering everything you need to know about this skull as soon as we get access to it, or even in the Discord that I'll have linked down in the description. If you guys are looking forward to a new video and want to know more about this skull, feel free to subscribe to the notification bell, that way I can update you as soon as I know myself. With that being said though, thank you all for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video.